Raccoons are fairly common on Long Island. For every square mile, there are as many as a hundred of them. But one raccoon has people in East Northport area talking a lot. CBS 2's Nick Calloway shows us why. Dig, dig here for the, the worms. Dan Dowd is used to the raccoons in his yard by now. In fact, he kind of likes them. They visit my vegetable garden and partake in whatever they want, and I don't mind. But when one of the regular raccoons had babies, he noticed something different about one of them. This year, she brought her pups back, and one of them was an albino. That's right, an albino raccoon. All white fur, pink eyes, pink nose. And it's been coming by for a snack every night for four months. Often enough, in fact, Dowd decided to name it. What's his name? Uh, I call her Blanca. <laughs> white. Yeah, white. <laughs> it got us wondering, how rare is an albino raccoon? Well, very. Turns out you're more likely to be struck by lightning than you are to actually see an albino raccoon in the wild. The chances? About one in 750,000. This is really cool. I would love to see it in person. Janine Bendixson is director of wildlife rehabilitation at Sweetbriar Nature Center in Smithtown. She says albino raccoons are not only rare, but they rarely live to adulthood because their bright color gives them away to predators. They don't have their camouflage. They don't have, you know, what a normal raccoon would have, which would be the mask and the, uh, you know, the coloration that would make him um, camouflaged. But for now, this little critter is a regular in Dan Dowd's area. It's even considered a mascot for the neighborhood. It's neat. You know, it's a little special part of nature that likes to hang around. So I'm going to help it out. And as rare as they are, Dowd says he also found one when he was a kid. So who says lightning doesn't strike twice? In East Northport, Long Island, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.